So this is truly insane. Now, of course, this Dr. Disrespect situation has been insane. It has baffled the scholars. But what you're about to hear is even more insane. Because right now, they're saying not guilty. Is that true? Is that true? Because consider this to be court of public opinions. We got the homie It Thoughts. He has went crazy at Dr. Disrespect and understandably, rightfully so, because Doc has admitted to the allegation. That's not my opinion. That's no one's opinion. That's what Doc has admitted. And a lot of people got trust issues with Dr. Disrespect, rightfully so. But today we're going to talk about the opposition because for the last week, what we have seen go around in the gaming community, truly insane. People are defending him. People are also asking for his cancellation. People are asking for his permanent ban on YouTube. And YouTube has demonetized him. Right, that has happened. I've never seen anything like this go down in uh, in gaming. Like the video like the video if you have never seen anything like this. Just like the video if you have, but check this. Is it possible that Dr. Disrespect is not as guilty as it's being made out? Is this just a witch hunt from a bunch of blue-haired beta males who don't like alphas and are threatened? It 100% is. Yeah, 100%. It's a witch hunt. But also, Dr. Disrespect is guilty at the same time as well. By masculinity? I know I've been very harsh with the doc recently ever since the allegations and the self-admitted guilt of Dr. Disrespect admitting to having inappropriate direct messages yeah. on Twitch with a minor. But is it being made out to be a whole lot worse than it actually is? And like I said, the intro there, is it a bunch of blue haired beta male weirdo libtards who don't like masculine <laughs> alpha male men and are in fact just brainwashed kind of type of people who still wear a mask in 2024 scared of yeah, COVID? Yeah. I mean, this is my blessing. It, it, it's true. It's true. There, uh, we, we actually heard this, uh, right? Like, it, it's proven that people uh, at Twitch, they, didn't li they did not like Doc. Why? Because of uh, his right-wing ideologies. In my honest opinion, everybody has the right for having their opinion as long as it's not hurting. So basically, Doc was against the 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 ideas that the left is pushing and all the woke ideologies and the woke identities that we're seeing. He was against the woke uh, agenda. So yeah, he clearly has pissed off people at Twitch that made them dig up his past. And guess what? They did found it. They did found it, and this is why we're seeing cancellation. Uh, this is why we're seeing this being bigger than that of uh, <laughs> aliens uh, being real or not, right? Like, this has been bigger than the question of are we alone in the universe or not? It has been insane. But here's the thing though Doc has admitted to the allegations, so you cannot defend Doc in this one either. Yes, they don't like him, but also Doc is guilty as well. And this is my curse. I have a hard time just seeing things from one angle with only one type of opinion. And I just come at things very open-minded and very, very unbiased. And I just really only want one thing. And that the is the truth. truth. And yeah, I don't yeah. know if we're actually getting the full truth. And in this video, I hope to present facts that lead us to the truth. But first of all, the major obstacle we have to overcome here for Dr. Disrespect to be innocent is he has self-admitted. Yeah. On Twitter, yeah, that yeah, yeah. he had inappropriate conversations with a minor through the Twitch whispers DMs. Now, I have seen some comments where people are saying th they were definitely holding a gun to his head. That and, and like, if he did not admit, they would have. You know what I mean? Like, come on now, bro. Like, it, it's not like that. And, and I've seen this argument as well uh, that him admitting to all of this just doesn't look good because then you know what happens after what happens after which we're seeing right now speculation speculation and that's what's going on right now everybody's speculating the age of uh, the minors some people are i've seen your guys comments some of you guys saying the age of consent the age of consent is 16 years old in my country the age of consent is uh 15 in my country the age of consent is 18 uh, we're a man and the age of consent is uh 21 we're a man i'm seeing all of these types of comments and listen here okay if if uh, we don't know the age of the minor we just know it was a minor that's it we don't know whether uh he or she we don't even know the gender we don't even know if it's 17 is the number that's being thrown around okay let's just say this right let's just agree to disagree on this one let's just say yeah it was a uh, it was a she a minor 17 years old uh okay let's just say that 17 years old 364 days old 23 hours and 59 minutes old right let, let, let's just say that we're talking about doc being 35 or 36 years old at that time half ha, uh, yeah so sexting a minor uh, in this case half half his age like yeah like crazy absolute insanity right 
But let's just agree to that. It's still insane. The system about seven years ago now. Regardless of how inappropriate and on a scale of 1 to 10 being really, really, really inappropriate and sort of just mildly inappropriate, there really isn't escaping that that is kind of a creeper thing to do. No yeah, adult should be in contact yeah. in any kind of inappropriate way with any kind of young little girl. And another thing too we have to get out of the way is everyone is assuming that the girl is 17, but yeah, the age exactly. of the girl, or even boy for that matter of fact, we don't know the gender and we don't know the age. True. So how young was this person that he was talking to but doc did confess on twitter before we go any further everyone needs to know that he did confess yeah, on twitter yeah, yeah. that he was a, a, a lot of people say that no bro that's like people are just assuming uh people are believing fairy tales guys so this is no one's opinion not even mine not his no one's like doc has admitted uh and, and the facts are we he admitted and we don't know the age and we don't know the gender of the the person uh he was uh texting he in his own words he was saying sometimes the conversation would lean inappropriately uh in the inappropriate direction so yeah that, that that's insane and anybody that that does that can we're, we're at a point where whatever doc dr disrespect put, puts out there in terms of statement next is not gonna be believed if it's in in a way where like he's trying to soften the blow or if he comes out tomorrow and says i yeah like i knew it was uh, uh i didn't know it was a minor at the time people are not gonna believe it why because he has broke his community and people's trust so many times with it like cheating on his wife then we had receipts of him like trying to ask for peekaboos uh, to a <laughs> to a trans uh, person. Yeah, we had. Um, and the the thing is that I'm I'm trying to be unbiased on it, right? Maybe those receipts and those messages are fake. Very well, it's a possibility. Can be fake, but everybody's not believing it. Why? Because people are. This is my point. This is the point that I'm trying to make here. People are having a hard time believing him. People are not believing him he, because he broke not just the bro code. He broke the trust with the uh, with, with the with the community as well. It's like the boy who cried wolf uh, kind of situation right now. Having inappropriate messages with a minor. How inappropriate is kind of a caveat we have to get to. And like I said, there really shouldn't be any inappropriate messages at all. But yeah. the canceling and the flack that Doc is catching right now is that of a guy who actually did something really, 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 really bad. And is yep. the cancellation yep. Yep. and hate towards Doc equal to the crime he committed or is it being overblown? And the thing is, and the reason why could Doc... It is overblown, uh, but also at the same time, it is justified. Bruh. Because, like, if you are mess sexting a minor, like Doc has admitted to, you cannot trust him, bro. You cannot trust him. But also, the other side is equally true, like, uh, it is overblown. Uh, because people are also bringing this up, and I've seen it, right? I've seen it. People are talking about, you know, the EP, I cannot say his word, there's a reason for it, guys. The island situation, right? I... I have read multiple comments, not just on my video, but other videos as well. People are saying, so everybody's attacking and going after cancellation of Doc, but where people were with when the island situation were happening, there are multiple reasons. You talk about it, bro, like, you don't even know, your channel might not exist tomorrow. So there was, th there's that aspect to it as well. And secondly, uh, we're talking about streamers and gamers talking about Dr. Disrespect because it's in the the same sphere, right? Because Dr. Disrespect, gaming streamer, so gaming streamers are talking about it. Uh, the EP Island situation, you know, that's like crazy. Of course it is. Uh, oh, yeah, that, that person was wor infinitely worse than Doc in comparison if we're going to play this game. Uh, but, but yeah, that, that, that situation was in the politics and like... If you talk about it, bro, you don't even know if your channel is going to be here tomorrow or not. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's uh, it's insane. Doc be actually innocent, or at least not as guilty as it's being made out, is that there are a lot of caveats and a lot of weird scenarios going down right now. First of all, everything besides the self-admitted confession by Doc is hearsay. There is no actual proof of how bad and egregious this conversation Doc had with this minor. Also, all the accusers seem to be that of the blue hair tights wearing a mask kind of type <laughs> people in 2024, you know, who hate alpha males. So they may have a vendetta and a bias against Dr. Respect in trying to make this look a lot worse than it actually. They did. They did. 
the reason I'm saying this is because you, you remember when uh, just a week ago, a week ago, a week ago, a week ago, when this uh, stuff was coming out from Cody, when he said that, yeah, Dr. Disaffect did it. He was texting minors. Yeah, he did it. He did it. The, the, the only people that believed that crap was apparently the blue hair people and also people that hated Dr. Disrespect to begin with. So they would, and those are the people that would believe anything, right? Like, it's, it, it, yeah, it's one of those things, right? Like, uh, a hater, uh, his haters, you would throw whatever at them that would be in term, uh, negative about Doc, they would just believe it, right? So, yeah, that, that, that's true. And, and people that liked him or not necessarily liked him, people that were rational in the middle or uh, that never knew the guy, they were like, yeah, we need these claims are insane. We need evidence. How many times we have seen uh, a, a character being assassinated like that and then it turns out that they did nothing wrong. How many times people have been accused of uh, crazy stuff and later we would find out that it wasn't that bad. And you know what? More so than that, uh, the, the allegations were fake. How many times we heard that so generally uh, speaking people people that were rational they were asking for evidence and in my opinion that's honestly the best uh, way to look at things and that's actually very good but see now he has admitted and we're way past that conversation now it's like it's, it's over it's over people have doubts uh he broke a lot of people trust and uh, people gonna have trust issues but i guess the the next thing is the chat logs, right? Are we gonna get the chat logs? Already people are saying, we don't need it, we have seen enough, and that's it. Case closed. On the other side, people are seeing, people are saying, we need to see the chat logs because that's gonna determine what was said. And was it really that bad? What was the age of the victim? A and all that. And I guess, yeah, it, it does, it will influence uh, a lot of things and uh, perhaps it would take a miracle to reverse all of this that has happened so far like him being banned from uh it, like demonetized i should say on youtube banned on twitch and his, his uh own gaming studio firing him as well uh and sponsors dropping him nba removing his skins him being shat not shadow banned now but completely blacklisted now it would take a it would it would be a miracle to reverse all that and I don't even think if if we get let's just say right hi, hypothetically speaking best case scenario tomorrow we learn that Dr. Disrespect so far we're learning that he knew the age but we learned that officially with evidence cold hard facts that he didn't know at the time the person he was sexting it was a minor he didn't know that the conversation gets leaked out or perhaps officially they put it out there and we find out that uh, it wasn't that bad in comparison to what we're hearing right now like they're saying it wasn't that bad and we get like the best version out of it even then he's gonna stay blacklisted from events and uh, yeah and people are gonna trust whatever was the news that broke in the very beginning which is that he is a PDF file uh, that he is uh, a danger to minors and all that right yeah that's what people are gonna believe because that's the first news there was a very good study i actually brought it up in uh in a video before i was watching uh, a video uh, a youtube video uh, with facts with facts were shown in that video <laughs> yeah i was watching a youtube video therefore i believe everything no no, no it wasn't like that uh it had a study and the study said that generally speaking whatever the news uh the, the first ever news that breaks on a topic that's negative people are gonna believe that more versus the secondary uh like for example right now the version that we have is that doc is uh guilty if tomorrow we have news that says that doc is not guilty people are still gonna believe more people are gonna believe the first version rather than the second version yeah a lot of people if they are given the evidence and the evidence is positive in a in a way where it proves that doc is not guilty or uh uh it, it wasn't that bad let's just say yeah some people would be like okay let me just forgive doc real quick uh okay wasn't that bad but generally speaking it's over his uh, character has been assassinated and it, it's over and it's also uh, the 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 fault of Doc, so you cannot blame anybody else in this situation. Doc is to be blamed. Actually, is the next hurdle we have to jump over is if it was that egregious and things were that bad between Doctor Disrespect and this minor, 
Why was there no police involvement? Why was there no investigation? There is no history of any kind of police report or any reporting to the police in any way whatsoever. Yeah. So we have to assume that Twitch is complicit in this situation because if they knew about it and didn't do anything about it, then what does that say? Like I said, either A, they are complicit in this uh, assault or these allegations or this super creeper moment in Twitch history, or they really weren't that bad and there was nothing really to go on and the police really didn't want to investigate because what Doc was saying wasn't really that bad and it wasn't worth the detectives nor the district true and also uh, i guess uh, they didn't had a uh, i'm assuming that probably they didn't had enough of the evidence right to take him to court and win the case right because um I, yeah right like a lot of the times if they don't have a case to build they just they, they're like okay forget about it right we got a bigger fish to fry we we're not gonna go anywhere with this case so let's drop it district attorney's time to try to prosecute him that's the only two options on top of that we have never actually seen the chat logs all we have is hearsay all we have is a bunch of blue-haired liberal weirdos who probably don't like right-wing personalities or right-wing speaking points or alpha males like the doc who are against some of the crazy stuff that's going on in america so like i said they may have a vendetta against him and are trying to make this look a whole lot worse yeah. than they are the next point I'd like to get they to did. is that how did all these people know about this, I guess, alleged creeper, this alleged predator for seven years and didn't actually say anything, didn't bring it to the public light, didn't talk to the police, didn't file for investigations. All I'm seeing for the answers for that are nonsense, bullshit excuses like, oh, yeah. for the safety and the privacy of the victim. And that's not how it works. If a person's an underage minor, there is no worry about that because their information is always held behind court Private, cases yeah. because of that. You can't have any kind of pictures, any documentation of who the person is, because if they're a minor, they have to be protected, and that's a law. And yeah, if you break yeah, that yeah, law, yeah, perjury, yeah. go to jail. But yeah, yeah, seven yeah, yeah. years, eight years now, and nothing has ever come out. No one. It, it's like, and these are just assumptions, and this is just speculation and pure rumors uh, as to what I'm about to say, but these are the explanation given, multiple of them, that uh, Twitch was sued, and the reason uh, Doc won the case and, mon and he got paid, and Doc has been actually flexed that initially too, like, I got paid, no wrongdoing was found, not, not guilty, no, uh, I was probed, nothing bad was found, no illegal material or whatever, right, he said, uh, I'm paraphrasing, uh, but, but he did say that, right? I, I think the reason is simple, because uh, Twitch did offer him a contract, and they banned him after giving him the contract, and the contract needed to be paid out so i guess he built a case and he had a case so he's like okay oh bro like you need to pay me because you said this 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 and that in the the actual contract and you did not fulfill your contract so you need to fulfill it right now give me money give me money so uh yeah he won that case and there was another argument uh, that i was uh, seeing as well that i'm that is not coming up in my mind i'll, I'll bring it up if i get it when talked about it and on top of that, it is a weird scenario. If Doc was so wrong and did so many things wrong, like for example, yeah, 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 yeah. So this is this is what I heard, right? Like uh, apparently, Twitch was not allowed to go in the whispers, right? Uh, this is also what I'm hearing that they were not allowed to dig up uh, private information like that, and they did. So that's also uh, illegal. I, I, I don't know if that is 100% illegal or not. I, I suppose it would be. But then it's like, bro, Facebook always spy on you, right? You get you, as soon as you get a smartphone, it's over. I said it before. I said it before. I'll say it again. And it's true, right? Like, yeah. Like if you have a smartphone, there's no privacy, bro. Forget the privacy, man. <laughs> there's no privacy once you have that. So, so uh, apparently they the the assumption here is that they broke that law as well. So this is why they did not proceed. But another factor here is this that so Doc did all this 2017 back in 2017 and he was banned in 2020 and he was given the twitch contract between 2017 and 2020 certainly after 2017 when he did it and twitch knew or maybe they didn't I i'm just trying to make sense of it right like so that that part is unclear that part is unclear top of that it did and that's a law and if you break that law perjury go to jail okay, but seven years eight years now and nothing has ever come out, no one talked about it. And on top of that, it is a weird scenario. If Doc was so wrong and did so many things wrong, like for example, if I'm on Twitch right now, put myself in the situation, and I'm talking to a minor and I'm doing some weird stuff and sending explicit pictures like they tried to say he did now and was having inappropriate conversation with the minor, and then Twitch is like, whoa, 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 ghost of eight, yeah, boom, you're fired, you're done, see you wouldn't wanna be you. 
how could that lead from that to me getting paid out of my contract from Twitch? If I did something that egregious, that's a direct violation of the terms of services. Instant ban, instant removal. It's too bad, so sad. Get your free participation ribbon and get the hell out of your type situation. Yeah, no, I, I heard the point that he's trying to make and maybe he's right. Like maybe uh, there would have been a clause in there because I usually like I remember uh, if I uh, when I did sponsorships, uh, there would always be uh, a clause in it. Like if they wanted they could end the sponsorships whenever for whatever reason right so uh, they, they put it there just to protect themselves so in case uh they don't want to pay me right like they they don't want to pay me right like they, they can choose if they didn't like a certain thing that will happen uh they, they can cancel the contract so yeah and, and i suppose like this was worth millions and millions of dollars the contract that twitch offered to dr disrespect so i'm sure like twitch would have an, some clause in it that would protect them in the case of hey they wanted to cancel the payment the contract and they didn't want to pay doc out i, I suppose I, yeah that's a that, that's a good point that's a good point I'm not going to have some kind of court case and go through some kind of arbitration and then get paid out of my contract, which by in Doc's terms was somewhere in the $20 million range, which is Sheesh. a lot of money and a rather large person and persona and at the time the biggest name on Twitch. The point is, is that there's a few things going on here and it has to be the truth. One, we need to see the chat logs. The chat logs will clear up any kind of you know misinformation or any kind of questioning or any kind of doubt that we would have about this situation and would either clear Doc or it would make him look very guilty. And if someone has yeah. those, like I said, Twitch has not said a word about this. They have not actually made comment on it. They have not even mentioned this in any way whatsoever anywhere, which leads me to believe something weird is going on with that. Yeah. So with that being said, these are the only answers. Doc is guilty and had some crazy stuff going on with the minor and Twitch fired him and they paid him out because Twitch is complicit in this situation occurring on that platform and doesn't want to draw attention to how many predators there are on that platform. And, and yeah, this is whole holy. Yeah. So apparently uh, th th this was also being reported that I believe the guy that said was also an ex Twitch employee. I'm not talking about Cody. It was another person. Uh, uh, I'm going to. Uh, paraphrase i'm gonna recall from memory apparently he was saying there are a lot more predators uh at twitch than just doc oh, shit. yeah 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 yeah. so you never know like whose name is gonna be dropped next and earlier i believe nick Merckx got banned and you want to know what what was the first thing that people were saying that they read his whispers oh. the twitch messaging system that's what whisper is all right the twitch people were saying that and then later on we found out uh he he said nick mark said that he was using the word uh against the transformers people and that's why they banned him i don't want to obviously i don't want to say that word because that would be counterproductive but he was using one word and uh twitch banned him for that crazy crazy and perhaps maybe how many predators are working at twitch allowing all these weird cam girls and all these weird kind of sexualization of yeah. women going on where kids can watch where it seems to be some yeah ban those hot tub streams ban those eat hot streams absolutely 110 percent right like come on what are we doing here or, or 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 put like an eight i guess they have put an 18 plus 18 plus category in it uh but but still anybody can access uh yeah right anybody can access um uh, yeah don't like when i was a kid bro i would always lie about my age on the internet like come on now so some kind of strange culture and program happening there on twitch so maybe they're complicit that's the first answer the second answer is doc didn't actually do anything that bad he got paid out and all these people are just trying to witch hunt him and hate him for maybe. the persona and maybe the person true. that he represents in contrast to uh, their not maybe oh that's true that's true but also yeah they uh, they hated him they hated him it was a witch hunt but again though dr disrespect is guilty so yes they were witch hunting him and they succeeded they don't like him and yes uh, but but also doc is guilty too if Doc was not guilty, then you can 100% blame uh, those people, absolutely. But you cannot blame them because they were right. They they were right in this. Or, or maybe this is overblown like crazy. I want to know your thoughts. This is a court of public opinions, right? Different perspective. Check out this video on the screen because recently this also went down. I'm not sure if you guys were able to see it or not. But uh, yeah, it, we had like a lot more stuff coming out as well check this video out if you have already seen it then check out the video on the left